Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue Peak Computer Training. And in this video, we want to ensure that users can only enter numeric values in column A. And we're going to use data validation to set this rule. So the first step is to select the cells that we want to apply the rule to. So I've selected cells A2 to A10. Then I go to the data tab on my ribbon and I look for the data tools group and then click on the data validation button. In this allow dropdown, I'm going to select, in the first instance, whole number. You could also choose decimal if you wanted to include decimal points in, within your numbers. So what we can do here is we can set a range of values that are valid within this cell. So you might say between 10 and 100. Or you might say greater than zero. So let's just set a rule. Let's say that the value has got to be greater than or equal to zero. So we can't have negative figures in this column. Now I can choose, I can create an error alert for my rule just to help users. So I'll just say numeric values. And I'll say value must be greater than zero. So look, if I type in eight, that's fine. If I was to type in minus one, I get the message value must be greater than zero. So you can see how those rules work quite nicely. Now what I'm gonna do is just select those cells again. I'm gonna go back and just look at one other type of rule that you could set. Now if you're not worried about you know, the value being above something or between something, you just want to ensure that users enter a numeric value rather than a text value, this is what you can do. What I'm gonna do is allow custom. And this gives me a formula box. And what I can do is use the isNumber function within this formula box. Now the isNumber function will return true if a cell contains a numeric value and false if it doesn't. So I'm going to say is number and I'm going to select the first cell in the range that we're applying the rule to. I don't need to select all the cells because the formula gets copied down automatically to the other cells that I've already selected. So this formula that you write for data validation must resolve to true or false. So it must be a logical test and is number does exactly that. Error alert, numeric values, value, must be numeric. So click on OK. So now I can type anything in here. I can even type in negative figures. But if I wrote cat in here, I'll get the little message value must be numeric. OK, that's all there is to it. Just as a little reminder, I went to data, data tools, data validation, and I can either use one of these inbuilt whole number rules or I can go to custom there and I can use the is number function to allow any numeric value. Thank you very much for listening. It's been Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training.